Windows 10 does not come pre-installed with rsync, but it is possible to use rsync on Windows, and that's exactly what this video will show you how to do. To install rsync on Windows 10, you need something called Windows Subsystem for Linux, and this is just a once and done type of setup. Let's get that set up by running a command prompt as administrator and type WSL dash dash install dash D Ubuntu. This will download an Ubuntu Linux image, and depending on the speed of your internet connection, the install will begin a few moments later. This will happen in a new command window as you can see here. You will be prompted to create a username, password, and verify the password that you just typed. And after doing that, you'll be taken to the Linux command prompt as indicated by your new username at computer name right here. From now on, you can open a command prompt, type WSL, and you'll be taken back to the Linux command prompt. We can verify that rsync is installed by typing which rsync. Another way is to type rsync-h to see the help options, but I'm going to do a quick rsync tutorial for you right now. Typing ls shows me the contents of the current directory, and here is the desktop of our Windows computer, so let's type cd desktop to change our directory to the desktop. Typing ls again shows us the same exact files and folders that are on the actual desktop. I'm going to make a text file called test on the desktop with some words in it. I'm also going to make a folder called destination. Let's use rsync to copy the test file into the destination folder. Simply type rsync azh capital P test.txt destination, hit enter, and the file will be rsynced to the folder. This was a very basic example, but you can type man rsync to read through the rsync manual, but that is literally thousands of pages long. Alternatively, you can watch this video right here if you want to learn how to use the rsync command to copy and sync files and folders on your local computer and even to a remote server across the internet.